All right, all right, all right, guys. It is time for the blood sacrifice icy far. Where players have to keep the action going and appease the blood gods by making sure one unit dies at least every minute of the game. Now, this is actually a little bit of a, a mixed one where we also... Uh, we'd initially announced it as Battlefield Execution, where you had to execute one of your own units every minute of the game, starting from two minutes. So, but we didn't get many entries, and there, was, there wasn't too many good ones. So, I said, you know what, let's just make it, you just have to make sure stuff is dying. The Blood Gods don't really care. Before it was more of like a commissar sort of execute the soldiers to motivate the rest into charging to their death, that sort of thing. And now it's a bit more of a let's appease corn and just get some god old goddamn butchering going, you know? Get the good old, good old stuff going. So down here. <laughs> I think I may have already missed six workers getting killed, guys. Fucking idiot. I think he's done a six fool. He's done a six pool. He's ki he's literally just killed. We we'll rewind at the end of the game. He's killed six of his own drones, built a six pool. Now he's up against a 12 pool. So down here in the bottom left, this player, I don't talk, is going 12 pool and pulling almost every drone into a, I've killed half of my workers at the start of the game. So this is literally got, a, like this, Santa Claus has just said, I'm so manly and warrior-like. I'm going to, like, chop my own arms and legs off before going into battle with you. The thing is, building non-stop lings is pretty good against this. By the way, could you go any further? Well, this is just bad. Why would you go this far around? It's the most all-in build ever. It's all about hitting as hard and fast as possible. It's not about hiding it. Oh, God. <laughs> I believe we may be in the dark pits of the ladder right now, guys. <laughs> they have no idea. Neither of them knows. And even those Zerglings aren't going to spot it. Look at that. They leave just as those units come in. You are kidding me. I mean, surely I Don't Talk just has more stuff, right? It's going to lose all the drones at home. Will this become a base trade? I think this might become a base trade. It's a Bainly Nest building. These drones, thinking about, they're going to hide up there. It's a base trade. Wait, wait, wait. I don't talk as building spines, though. So that you can't win the base trade if there's spines out. Because spines will win that base trade, I think. So he cancels the Baneliness to get some money back. Are these guys trying to run? Oh, they're just running. Santa Claus is like, let's just get out of here, man. Screw this. Oh, my God. So Santa Claus just gets the money. He's going to get one drone mining in the main. Uh, they're kind of chasing right now. But the spawning pool, the hatchery is going to go down. Ooh, those broodlings doing a lot of damage. Oh man, broodlings are so good. Oh my god, they kill. Oh, they don't quite kill any of the zergans. The spawning pool will bleed down eventually. No need to stay there and kill it, I guess, right? Since you know it'll it'll bleed down on its own. Now, there is a whole lot of hentai in this main base of Santa Claus. Uh, there's enough money for, for, for Santa Claus to rebuild a whole bunch of structures. Hide the drone, hide the drone. There's not enough money for a hatchery, though. So, oh, you know what? The spines will bleed out. I think there's more There's more blue zerglings right now, yeah? Yeah, Santa Claus, this I don't talk player just lost all their, their zerglings. So the thing is, these spines, as they kill the hatchery, now the creep's going to start to recede, which means those spine crawlers will bleed out. Meanwhile, Santa Claus builds extractors. Now, now obviously, I don't talk can also build extractors, but there's actually more Zerglings out, almost double the count for the blue Zerg. So... <laughs> the spines will have to uproot or they're going to bleed. So the thing is, they, they can't, the spines aren't useful anymore. Has blue actually managed to win this game? Oh, it just has to build another extractor. If this one gets caught... Oh my god. This is so dumb. I, I gotta say, special shout out to I Don't Talk, guys. Can you imagine losing a game to someone who kills half their own workers at the start of the game? Like, that's impressive. That's a feat. That is a... <laughs> so even, even though there's double the worker count, the Lings just do too much DPS. There's no way Red can win a head-on fight. 
The spines are getting surrounded, but you need to quickly go build a, a gas. Oh, Santa Claus thinking ahead sees these guys coming in to kill the last extractor. Splits off a drone, builds another one. Says, you can't eliminate me, buddy. I could do that all day. Oh, no. You know, this is just that situation. Normally, the, the tentacles are used to impaling and pre impregnating other units. Extractor goes down. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I don't talk. Builds a gas as well. Does build a gas. But yeah, in this case, it is the tentacles that get tentacled. You know what I'm saying? I, a little bit of, um, I remember there was a guy in my high school who was like, do you know what penal is? And I was like, yeah, like a penal colony. Like, like as in, you know, people that are imprisoned. And he's like, no, penal is when one, one guy puts his, his, his penny inside another guy's penny. And I was like, that's not a thing. He's like, yeah, nah. And I was like, that's, it doesn't like physically, no. I was like, I don't know what, what you've got going on with your downstairs mix up, but that's like not actually physically a thing. And he was like, nah, man, it's penal. That's essentially, I don't know. I feel like th th those spine crawlers just got penal. Do you know what I'm saying? Anyways, um, Zerglings and drones coming up here. It looks like the final battle is going to happen. The extractor on the other side is up. It's healthy. There's too many Zerglings here. Santa Claus. Winning with a 6 pool versus a 12 pool? Wait, no, no, no! He just took the worst possible angle on a fight and all of his Zerglings got surrounded. I- he- oh no! <laughs> I really thought he was gonna win that fight! <laughs> oh no, I will, I will have to rewind that fight for you guys. There's- I, I think I don't Dog is actually gonna win. He, he should have won that fight. He just took a really bad angle. All of his Zerglings were in the, in the convex, so they were getting surrounded and most of them were attacking drones. Um, which is obviously the tankier unit of the two. So the Zerg, the couple of Zerglings of I Don't Talk basically got to hit the whole time without dying. And um, yeah, I mean, obviously it was always going to be a close fight, but I, I thought there was still enough of a Zergling event. Oh, it's called docking, they're saying. It's a real thing that people do. People always say that. They're like, it's a real thing people do. Who? Go find me one person who's like, yeah, I love to dock. Like, come on. It's not a... It's like one guy's done it the same way a guy, you know, people do weird things to see if they can. But it's not like this one out there's like, that's my thing, I love it. It's like, there's like three dudes out of the seven billion people on this planet who are like, dude, it's my thing. You know, there's, there's like three. They're like, it's real and that someone put it on an Urban Dictionary? Exactly. Exactly. Um, this guy's like, do you really want someone to find that for you? I don't want, of course, one person's done it. It doesn't make it a thing, guys. There's people out there, it's not a thing. Well, I guess uh, <laughs> it's a si single person's thing <laughs> in isolation. You know, people like, people always, always make it sound like, it's like, oh, this is something like, it's a, it's, you know, I have this really common condition. I just can't stop drawing dicks, you know, like, uh, you know, like something like, it's really common condition. Something like one in five people have it. So, you know, just as a kid, I just couldn't stop drawing dicks. You know, it's like that. It's super bad joke where you're like, you're like, I don't know, man. I don't, I'm not sure one in five kids have a condition where they're like, they're obsessed with constantly drawing dicks. I don't know if that's a thing. So anyways, what's impressive here is I don't talk. It's like, you've got three drones and two Zerglings versus two Lings. Like, how can you not win this game? Please like, find me a way I don't talk. Like at this point, Santa Claus is fighting his little heart out to micro. Is he attacking his own gas? I think Santa Claus is like, no, no, I'm on your team, buddy. I'm on your team. Look, I'm trying to help. I'm trying to help. I mean, no, we want to hit the gas. Oh my God, the micro from Santa Claus is so bad. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> What's he trying? <laughs> it's a lost cause, buddy. You almost had it. You almost had it, Santa Claus. So close, man. Even in defeat, I admire you for trying as hard as you, as you could. And uh, those drones are going to very slowly kill that extractor. Oh! Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Wait, wait. Don't tell me this sling is going to kill three drones. No, <laughs> they turn around. Okay. <laughs> okay. I was like... <laughs> I was like, don't tell me this red Zerg is just going to be like, oh, God, it takes his hands off the keyboard and loses all three drones while the other two Zerglings are just doing run around the rosy with uh with that with that Zergling. No, that's going to be it, guys. It looks like it. I mean, I almost, almost managed to take it out, but not quite. Let's do a little rewind there. Let's first of all go back to the start since I missed the very beginning. So just to show you guys the amazing strategy here from Santa Claus. I'm going to do a six pool. Look at me. Get the 
I'm like, oh, fucking. Uh. <laughs> so dumb. Oi, there's still hip. You gotta. What, you're doing a seven pool? You try hard. What the hell, man? Oh, it's not even a six pool, it's a seven pool. What a try hard. Try hard. Oh my god, Santa Claus. Um, to be fair though, let's be real, the blood gods I think were very appeased. They're like, ooh, 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 ooh. They're like, oh, you guys really worship us. Like, you know, blessing, blessing of might upon you. Um, so I think what was amazing is is then he ran so far around. But what about that that final fight with the um the Zerglings and stuff? Cause it really felt like he should have had the numbers, right? Because you got 10, 10, 10 Zerglings, 3 drones versus 7 drones, 6 Zerglings. I mean, it's not the most one-sided fight. <laughs> but a lot of people don't understand melee battles, and it's the exact same as a range battle. You would like to have either a flat battle line or preferably an arc, because then you've got more of your units focus firing on their units. One of the problems here is these units kind of just a move. They don't spread out beforehand at all. So if, if you can spread out, your units are naturally going to form a battle battle line. So we're going to turn the speed right down. Let's take a look, see what went wrong here. Okay, so his units are all stuck behind each other. So first of all, he gets stuck up against the terrain and then A moves where half of his army is stuck behind the other units. We're also going to see these two Zerglings super exposed on the front of the line and they're going to go down really quickly. These drones are kind of stuck at the back. But it looks like this drone here wasn't adding much DPS, but it was occupying a lot of line, battle line space. And then... Yeah, there's like one or two Zergans that were running around the back line of this fight. The tankiness of the drones, man. That's crazy. Oh no, I really thought he had this, dude. Surely, 10 Zergans, if he, if he got the concave at all... Because the thing is, Zerglings are more maneuverable than drones, so you should be able to get the better angle if you do a bit of micro to set that up. You should absolutely be able to, but he, he kind of clumped himself up against the edge here. He should have been spreading his units. So box half of them there, half there. Even put them on two separate control groups and then just A-move from slightly, yeah, slightly better. Uh, people are saying in chat, if he hadn't pulled away when he didn't just let his units finish attacking, I think he actually still did win. Oh, I think there he even did a move command into the fight. But yeah, look at this. So this is it, guys. Yeah, Zergling, 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 all stuck at the back of the line running around. So he was just, he was missing out on a lot of that DPS for large portions of this fight. If he kept attacking, he would have killed one more Zergling there. And if he killed one more Zergling and got away with three Zerglings versus two, maybe he has a chance, but... Either way, screwed the pooch there, unfortunately. It's quite fragile, those engagements, but he should have spread the units out got the engage as it was the fact that a seven pool where he butchered five of his own workers at the start of the game almost beat a 12 pool very impressive the blood gods are pleased gg well played thank you for that lovely replay if you guys want to support the channel don't forget to hit up the patreon down below hit the like button subscribe button we'll see you in the next video goodbye and good night